got a little bit carried away whilst you've been gone. Um, I just got my head down, got into the, the building zone, and suddenly this is what we've got. <laughs> I'm just sorting the bracing cables out at the moment, and um, yeah, it's all going to plan actually. Touch wood. Um, yeah, the bracing cable map I think could be, well, I'd say it could be a little bit better. I think I'm probably just being a bit uh, pernickety. I think it's okay. I think it's me that's uh, that's not the best, to be honest. But they're going together anyway. Figuring out where they all go. It's very important to read the instructions for fitting the bracing cables. I had to do a lot of tweaking to ensure they were on the right way around and in the correct positions. So, as you can see here, this is the map. This is explaining how it all goes and it's all there's like a plan view, a side view and then there's some instructions um, I'm trying to work out which one goes on the where and so here we go, ah so this is wonderful what I didn't know is that the B cable goes under there so now <laughs> we've found another mistake I've made <laughs> I'll just show you um, so we've got the C cable here, which is this one here, and then this is the F cable, but then silly me didn't spot that there's actually one that goes in there as well, so um, that's going to be fun. I uh, should have sorted that out before. Okay, right, back to the drawing board. So here we are. So what I've done, I've got to get this, this in here. So in order to do that, I've got to very sadly undo what I've just done. But I think it's fairly straightforward to get this cable in. Pop that there. Pull that out. And in fact, I'll pop that back on just so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Maybe the order that they're in. There we go. And this cable here needs to go in there, so ah, that was easy enough. So that comes out like so. This goes in, and then the plastic separates the steel from the aluminium so it doesn't wear. In. and then you've got to get line those up that eye there obviously worth bearing in mind that needs to be on the inside so I'll throw that in back on and that is basically the map I lose my washer that's basically the map of all of the wires the bracing cable that should just go in nicely <laughs> like this <laughs> nicely <laughs> there we go that's in get this on there and then we've just got the other ends of the wires just to sort out, uh, bracing cables to uh, sort out. Make sure we've got the smooth side down. With washers, this little tip, I was taught the right way to do it. A washer always has a smooth side and a rough side. Um, you put the rough side against the bolt or the nut and the smooth side against the surface and it stops wear. That's something that I was taught anyway. Right, okay. I feel like you should throw your hands. My hands? Oh, they're just a bit sore. Not sore. Not too bad. Hey, I have no idea where the rest of them then cut. <laughs> I would presume... I would presume it's something... Right, I've not looked yet. I'm going to look in a second. 
what happens here if it's something like this. This to here, like that. Um, so something like this, that to there, that to there, and then exactly the same on the other side. I was close, but not quite right. The rear bracing cables actually cross over, connecting to the other side of the fuselage, which actually makes perfect sense. Making some good progress though. Really good progress. I can't believe actually how far it's come along just today. Unbelievable. Right, we are nearly done. We're just hooking up the last of the bracing cables now into place, um, which has been an absolute headache. Uh, I made it difficult for myself, to be honest with you, more than anything else, but uh, I'll talk you through that in a moment. Um, and I'll give you some tips on how to uh, hook the rear brace cables up Oh, they all go on really nicely, apart from the rear ones, which are an absolute pig. Um, so some of the things that I noticed were this here. So this bar, you've got to make sure this cross, bit, cross member here is behind these two poles. So that's the correct way for it to be. Otherwise, nothing will fit. Um, then when you're hooking these brace cables up at the rear here, what you've got to do is put these on first of all, on this side. So put this, this end on first. They've all got a cross at the rear. Um, and put the bolts so they're just ever so slightly on. And then you've got to attach this bolt. So you then put this bolt through here and here. If you're attaching the uh, bottom uh, bolts first, then what you need to do is lift the back of the airplane up and that will help you attach these brace cables. Uh, with the upper brace cable, you gotta push down on the back and that will help you as well. So um, those are just some things to consider. Just finishing off now, the last few. This is the last one here. So this one comes to here and that should then conclude all of my brace cables into place happily ever after. <sighs> um, if I can find the washer, everything's gone flying since we've been lifting everything up. Um, this is gonna be another one of those five minutes later scenarios again there we go so that'll do for now that's in and that's it folks all the brace cables are now connected which is just brilliant it's come on so much today so uh time to consult the manual and see what's next it's the end of another evening in the hangar and made some fantastic progress today, which I'll show you now. As you can see, front airframe's done. Rear airframe is well on its way now. All the bracing cables are in place and the vertical stabilizer is also in place. Yeah, as I pointed out, there's a bit of difficulty with these rear cables, but I uh, got them in, in eventually. Next stop is a flap lever. Um, so that's the flat lever mounting bracket and then that will be a project for tomorrow. So for now, have a nice evening um, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.